Hello and welcome to BA Survival. Today I'm going to be talking about contour lines. This map here has lots of brown lines all over it. And that is what the map uses to dictate the shape of the hills. Rather than just showing you simple pictures of perfectly round little diagrams, which you never actually get, I'm going to use real life maps and the actual location and compare the two. And combined with some 3D imaging, so let's get into it. So this section here, you can see that I'm walking over a very steep ridge with steep drops to either side of me. So if I was to look for this on a map, I would see the contours very, very close together in parallel lines. You can see the hills to the front, slopes to the left and to the right, and three peaks in front of us. If I bring up the 3D map, you can see the same information, but it's got the contour lines on it. If you then flatten that 3D map, this is what it will look like. That map needs to be orientated. So we are there roughly where that green star is. And then if I compare the three images, you can see that just in front of us is one peak. Behind that, this section here is another peak. And then in the far distance, you can see the third peak. Here we are in a very obvious part of the map. You can see the very prominent U-shaped valley with a river running straight up and we're pretty much in line with the river. Looking at the 3D model then, you can see this very well. You can see how one side of the valley is a little less steep than the other and that at the bottom of the hill, it's less steep and it gets more steep the closer it goes up. So what we would call a concave slope. If we look at the OS map, you can see that clearly. You can see the shallow slopes on one side of the valley. You can see the steeper slopes. You can see the ridges all the way around with all the different peaks and then the drop off from those other side of those peaks. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that's been helpful and you now understand more how contours work.